Shalom lekulam. Hi, everybody. We're the couple from Galilee traveling through the southern states, and now we're in Georgia. We're in somebody's yard right now. We just pulled off the road going, maybe they won't see us. Yes, we're on the way to Savannah. Yes. And last night we were also in Georgia, but in a home meeting. And that was oh like having church. Oh my gosh, all our beautiful friends, Glenda and all of them that we met, mm -hmm. it was, I mean, it was, th we poured three and a half hours. And I'm telling you, it was almost like they didn't want to, they didn't, they didn't want us to stop because we taught, we taught, we taught and brought in the Hebrew words and shared about what's happening in Israel. We shared ground level. But as we're driving, I said to Noam, people have to stay alert. Mm -hmm. There are people that are so much slumber because everywhere we go, I stop people yes. and ask about Israel. Are you praying for Israel? Right. And you see the heaviness of everyday life is understandable. But yeah. if you are in the spirit and if yeah. you are grafted in, then this is the time to stand yes. with Israel. You cannot sleep now. No. And we came here to shake the yeah. people. And like that scripture that you found yeah. in Thessalonians. Yeah, First Thessalonians 5, 6. Stay alert and be sober. And be sober. Mm -hmm. This is a sobering time for all of us. And we cannot be indifferent to what's happening in Israel if you're grafted in like Noam said. You, 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 you're a part of the commonwealth of Israel. Right, and to be alert in this scripture that is used, the word is in Hebrew is er. Mm -hmm. Er also means to be awake. Yes. And the first letter, Ayn, means sight. So when you are alert, you see, you look around, you see what's going on. You're using your sight. Yes, and, and we had to stop and get some vitamin pills on our journey. And as we're coming out of the store, there's this beautiful woman with a beautiful dress on that in the, the, the embroidery was a beautiful cross um, with words. And I said, oh, this is me. You know me. I'm, I'm the gate opener. Right. I said, oh, I, I love your dress, but what does it say? She says, faith. And I said, we're from Israel. Literally indifferent. Literally have no clue. And I wanted to say, sweetheart, you've got to wake up because your savior who you believe in is the lion of the tribe of Judah. I mean, he was executed by the Romans. He was raised from the dead, sits on the right hand side of God, the father almighty. And when he comes back, he's coming back to Jerusalem, to his people. So we are on a journey and I don't want to tell you the percentage that we have found, have no clue. No clue. And then I ask him, are, are you Christians? Well, of course we're Christians. Right. And I say, then you need to stand on the right side with Yeshua, with Jesus. You've got to be on the right side with him. Right. So besides giving a warning to the Christian and the Jews, which is yeah. part of what we are doing here, it's also to shake people up. Yes. By reminding them, hey, you know what happened on October 7th? Yeah. Because some people, either they know or they forgot. Right. So it's always good to remind.